Hello YouTube, I'm back again after a week off. Yeah, I wanted to have some space between videos, but this is my review of the Hunger Games Catching Fire trailer that premiered at the MTV Movie Awards tonight. One word I have to say, amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, this movie looks really good. It looks it looks like they actually, well, I don't want to say they actually have money, but they have, they obviously improved on a lot of things. Um, the costumes, the environment, the way uh, the sets look, everything. I mentioned the costumes, but the costumes look fantastic. Uh, truth be told, this might be a surprise to a lot of people, but Catching Fire is my least favorite book in the Iron Games trilogy. Um, even though I have to like the whole entire book for it to be my favorite, and that's Hunger Games. My favorite book in the trilogy is the first book, no doubt, because that's the book that pulled me in and just took me on a, a great journey and a very true and raw journey with, you know, with the characters and everything. With Catching Fire, I felt like the beginning, like the first act was dragging and then it didn't kick in the gear till the end of the second act when they actually go into the quarter quell and that's when everything goes insane. Um, but besides that, um, the movie, it looks like it's going to um, really amp up emotions and really see it for yourself. Like um, the certain scenes in the first part of the book, it may be more exciting than actually reading it. So that might be improved in the movie um, also. But I'm so glad they didn't show the arena scenes. I might be one of the few people who um, didn't want that to be revealed so early because you want to tease. Because this was actually a teaser. A two minute 30 second teaser but it was a teaser and I'm like two minutes and 30 seconds that's like a full length trailer really but did they tease I mean you had Donald Sutherland and Philip Seymour Hoffman talking I you know talking about you know the uh Katniss but their characters are in the President Snow and Plutarch Heavensby um I think Philip Seymour Hoffman of course he's going to play that part he He's gonna slay it. He's he's gonna play that character to the T. I can already I, I can already tell by just his flawless acting in the trailer. I just yeah. But um, those scenes they're talking about Katniss. I'm like, thank you because they always um, let the uh, for Hunger Games they let the characters do the talking in the trailers rather than having to go voice over being like Katniss Everdeen blah 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 blah. But those two talking is basically the theme of Catching Fire and just that tensions are rising and you know people are going not insane but going to rebel more and just everything has changed after Katniss did that ceremony for Rue after she did that three finger salute to District 11 after that ride to District 11 but that was added in the movie that wasn't in the book but still you know all that stuff that she has done and you know the um the Nightlock stuff, like all that stuff has changed, you know, what President Zoe thought. And at the end of the first movie, um, yeah, see, you see President Snow looking at Katniss and Peter being like, uh huh, okay. Like, I thought that ending was fantastic for the movie because it sets up this, and I was so right because I was like, I got that same feeling, excuse me, at the end of the movie that I got right now. Like, he. President Snow was going to be everywhere in her face being like, I'm, I'm watching out for you. And I'm so glad they didn't reveal certain things because there's a lot of things that are revealed in that first act that, I, um, that I'm not favoring. But those things add up to, you know, the quarter quell and all that stuff. And I'm so glad they didn't show the, well, actually, I'm kind of iffy because I did kind of want to see Finnick, Joanna, and the whole gang, really. But um, I'm glad they're saving it for, I guess, a future trailer that's going to be a, like a feature-length trailer to show uh, plot points in Catching Fire. And I'm guessing they're going to try to keep the quarter quell a, quarter, the quarter quell a secret. I'm not sure how they're going to do that, considering that they introduce, you know, people who haven't read the books to a new uh, characters like Finnick, Joanna, Wyrus, BD, um, and Mag, and all those um, fantastic characters. But... The tone of this, like I said before, is fantastic. I like it showing a lot of the rebellion and how Katniss, how her influence has changed people's outlook on the games concerning what she has done in the games, you know, showing remorse and everything and actually, you know, being 
human, you know, towards um, interaction in the games. And President Snow and Pluto like everybody's be all like, mm hmm So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, and I love that they're showing more of Gale. Because in the first movie, yeah, he's barely in the first book also. Because you only see him at the beginning and you don't really hear about him. But Katniss does think about him. And I like in the first movie how they show him back or whatever. But he was, he wasn't really um, shown as much as I would have thought. They would have shown him in the first movie, but I think Liam Hensworth is going to play that part. I mean, he, to me, is Gale. He has that spirit of Gale. And um, I love that they show the whip, the whipping scene. Actually, no, I'm surprised they show the whipping scene. Because I'm like, oh, well, okay. You know, that's when it got real because of that whipping. I just, yeah. And the the new <laughs> the new um, peacekeepers, you know, have the have these, you know, great armor and I, I, I like I like that they changed it. They do look like stormtroopers in a way, but they look more intimidating and more powerful. Cause it's like, oh, all these people rebelling, you have to make it believable that the uh peacekeepers armor are gonna be strong to withheld all these people, you know, rioting everywhere. And I love how like they have like the odds are not in our favor and the burning of the um of the you know capital flag and the rising of the mocking jay and oh god it just i was like is this mocking jay or catching fire but it's catching fire obviously and for people who have not read the books everything changes um this book is basically leading up to the all the changes that mocking jay is going to have to deal with because this book will uh excuse me not book <laughs> this movie will or the book too this movie will take you on a ride like never been before i mean i can already tell because there are so many twists and turns in this it's just going to be amazing and it's going to surprise a lot of people who probably didn't get the first movie or who didn't really connect with it i connected with it but i know some people who have read the books just you know, kind of was like, oh, okay, that was hundreds. But this one really is going to grab you. And I can feel like each character is going to shine in this. Because you have Gail, you have Peter, you have Katniss, you have Hamish, you have, you know, President Snow and Flutok Flute Heavensby. And it's really going to change everything. I can't wait until they release another trailer. Probably going to be released around the summer or, you know, the end of summer. But... I cannot wait to see how they feature the other characters that are introduced in this movie. And maybe some pictures may release, you know, between there. But right now, this is a teaser. And it teased. And at the end, when Princess Snow was like, she is going, that we have to kill off her, um, then what did he say? We have to kill off the other victors. You know, talking about Fennec and all them. And he's like, well she's 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 wrapping them up she's going to do this she's going to do that and we have to stop it basically saying we have to kill them all you know to stop you know everyone from rebelling and i'm like praise but i cannot wait to see the scene with katniss and prison snow what that convinced me i mean like even though i don't like the first act that much at all in the in the book but that scene with president snow and katniss that is a i mean that right there is just fantastic i know i'm all over the place i know i seem a little bit too excited and i'm stuttering but this trailer really rises my expectations for catching fire i mean they're already raised but like the movie maybe better than the book to me because um of how everything is introduced and how everything is really emotional and really raw and i can already tell that Francis Lawrence is going to be more blunt with his directing than gary ross um i don't like the shaky cam may have been too much like at the beginning i was kind of like whoa what the crap but you know i think francis lawrence is going to is going to be really blunt and really forward with this start to be like look at this you know the whipping scene alone is like you clearly see the whip go down on gail's back and everything so and you see a gun pointing at county she a gun pointing at somebody else's so i was like whoa crap so yeah who yes yeah, so <laughs> This was my review of the Catching Fire trailer. It was amazing, and I can't wait for more. Can't wait for this movie. And, uh, yeah, everything was amazing. So, yeah, bye, you two. And I will review the new Doctor Who episode tomorrow. So, yeah, bye.